This is Duke University. Global trade and environmental Being justice. Human rights China issues today. are still. The term Ubuntu. A alien and sedition accident. He's making inferential discoveries. The importance of an archive. The John Ho Franklin Center. Um, so to make sure we're on the same page, I'm going to define two um, terms that are pretty relevant to my presentation. Um, voodoo is one of the two main religions in Haiti. Um, the other one is Christianity. And it's um, a really pervasive and really, um, really important part of Haitian culture. And ethnopsychiatry um, generally is the ethnocentric study of um, psychiatry. Um, explicitly not from a Western point of view. So my thesis is on Haitian ethnopsychiatry, which means that um, it's psychiatry from a um, in a Haitian context. Um, so um, as um, Professor Jensen mentioned, the U.S. occupation of Haiti um, was one of the really was a really um, big thing that. Um, was a, that kind of led to a jumping point for um, ethno, the development of ethnopsychiatry. The way that um, the U.S. occupied Haiti really um, d destroyed the thrill of independence um, and removed um, all the freedom and rights that the Haitians had um, as independent citizens. So um, during, in the midst of this time, two um, prominent Authors um, Jean Puis Marx and J C Dorsanville wrote uh, extensively on um, Haitian Haitian culture, and they just um, encouraged um, the revival of Haitian pride. So um, they affirmed the value of voodoo and um, other aspects of their lifestyle, um, and in turn. Um, this led to the rise of ethnopsychiatry through Jean Prisma's son, um, Louis Marx. So he was a um, psychiatrist who studied in France, and I guess throughout his studies, he realized that there's something fun fundamentally different from um, the studies that he was learning in Western Europe, um, as opposed to um, the phenomena he had seen in Haiti. So he started um, the ethnopsychiatric movement in the hopes of um, providing treatment for the Haitian population. And at this time, um, mental disorder was really stigmatized such that um, people really thought it was the cause of, it was caused by voodoo, not by biological bases or anything else. So he sought to change um, the mentality in Haiti um, on what mental disorder was and what it was based on. And at the same time, he sought to valorize Haitian culture and not demean voodoo in any way, um, and just really encourage um, and affirm um, the Haitian culture of voodoo and everything else. Um, and my um, thesis is really more on like the broader um, spectrum of ethnopsychiatry and all the things that I studied, um, and it focused more on. Um, personality disorders and other um, mental illnesses that have more to do with biological bases, but also um, with culturally relevant phenomenon like um, trance states or crise de loa, which are um, related to voodoo practices. But um, in light of our, in light of the Haiti lab, um, trauma is a really big issue. So I'm going to speak a little bit about um, the place in trauma um, in the ethnopsychiatric literature. And um, I guess at this time there just isn't, there wasn't that much on it, but Louis Maas does broach the topic by um, mentioning the importance of um, war neuroses, which later on was a start jumping point for um, the study of PTSD. And he also um, references how um, P like trauma is a result of an event and not a personality basis. But at the same time, one of his colleagues um, mentioned how um, mentioned the phenomenon of hysteria and how it was actually a possible it could be a possible manifestation of trauma in conjunction with a certain personality profile. Um, and here he describes this extensive personality profile about um, people who are emotionally unstable and egocentric and selfish, um, such that they internalize their trauma in a way that causes them to have these um, really strange symptoms that range from um, really intense violent tendencies to comatose-like tendencies. Um, 
yeah, overall, um, I just want to conclude that um, trauma has been in the history. There is a lot of trauma in the history of Haiti, um, not only in the U.S. occupation, but during Francois Duvalier's oppressive regime, which effect, unfortunately, effectively kind of destroyed the whole um, system that Louis Moss tried so hard to create. Um, so despite all the advances that he made to change the stigma for mental health, um, currently, um, as I think most of us probably know, the mental health issues are um, a really big problem still in Haiti. Produced by Duke University. Online at duke.edu.